Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez and I'm an application engineer at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today we're going to be learning how to take advantage of configurations. I've made a storage box and now I've put all the features and I've also edited the material to what I want. It's currently under pine wood and I like the way it looks and meets all the requirements that I need. But I'm also curious to see how it might look if I change the material, maybe add a trim. But if I were to do that, I'd have to start all over because I want to keep the part the way it is. The solution to my problem is to make another configuration. The way that I would do that is I would click here on the configurations tab and I can right click here where it has the box configurations next to the part icon. I right click and now I select add configuration. Inside the configuration properties I can change the name so I'm going to call this mahogany. And I also want to have suppressed features on so whatever new features I add it won't be appearing in the original part. So I'm going to click OK. Now, the original part here is the one that's currently gray, right? It's, I'm not active in it. I'm active in the mahogany. The way that I know that is that I have a green check mark there. So I'm going to be working from this part, and I, wanna, I don't want to go from the Feature Manager design tree and go back and forth to the Configuration Manager tab. So to avoid that, I'm going to grab the split bar, and I'm going to split it so that I can see the Configuration tab and my Feature Manager design tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start now by starting a sketch on this face to add a trim. So I'm going to use my mouse gesture wheel by right clicking and holding down the right mouse button and when I do that I can move my cursor to the right and it activates the mouse gesture wheel and here I have commands that are specific to being in a sketch environment. So I'm going to select a rectangle, I want to make sure that I have a center rectangle all I have to do is snap it onto that edge and to this edge here. And now I can smart dimension this. This will be 0.5. And I'm going to extrude this out. Use an extruded boss there. And I can click OK. Since this part has symmetry, I can use a mirror feature. And I have to use my flyout manager here. And I'm going to use the right, the front plane. And now I'm going to select that feature that I just made and it gives me a preview. Perfect. I'm going to do the same now for this face. I'm going to start a sketch here. Add another rectangle. Use a corner rectangle and snap it on from this corner to this corner. And now I can just extrude this out as well. And this will also be 0.5. And again there's symmetry here so I'm going to use the mirror feature. And when I do that, I can select the right plane, and there's a preview of that boss. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have the trim that I wanted, but I also want to change down the material. I'm going to open up my split bar, and right here where it says pine, I can right click on it and edit the material. Here it shows me the material mechanical properties of these different materials that I have. I'm going to select mahogany wood. And I'm going to click apply. When I click apply, it will apply the mechanical and material properties as well as the aesthetics of mahogany wood. Now this was very easy, right? It didn't take me that long to be able to modify this part. I didn't have to start from scratch. I just added the changes that needed to be. Now if I go back to the original configuration, you'll notice here that the new features aren't there. They're being suppressed. So they will only be present to that corresponding feature. So for this one, be the mahogany one. Now I want to add another configuration, and I'm going to do it differently. So I'm going to want to control it through a configuration modification table. To access that, I can click on this face, and since SolidWorks is parametric, it captures dimensions. So I have to use this right-click on the dimension. Select Configure Dimension and it will open up the Modify Configurations dialog table. From here I can select Features, Dimensions, or Material. So for example, I can open up the split bar here, select the material, it will now be there. I can also click on a face and it will grab the feature here, so it will grab the extrusion. And I can also add dimensions. I can add dimensions over here, the width and the length. And if I want to add a new configuration, right here where it says create a new configuration, I can click on it. The next one's going to be called balsa because this will be made out of balsa wood. 
and all the dimensions, features, and materials that I previously had will be picked up as well from here. And I can change the length. This one will have six inches. It'll be six inches over here as well. And I need to change the material now to balsa. So I can click on the drop down arrow here where it says material and select browse more. It'll take me back to the material window. And I'll now select balsa wood for this one. So now I have to save this table. I'll call it storage box. And I'll save it so I can save all the changes and I'll apply it. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK on the dimension here. And there's the new configuration. Now the reason that I'm getting these minus signs is because they're telling me that it hasn't been rebuilt yet. Once I go into that configuration, it will change and it's been updated now. So all the changes and the new configuration that I wanted are made now. Look at that. It has balsa wood as material. The dimensions have changed. They're now the length is six inches, so is the width. And the material is balsa. Now we've seen how easy it is to create configurations through the configure modification dialog table. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. If you have any tips or tricks you want to add, please make sure to put them down in the comment section. And please give us a like.